Hello, this is David Wellman with Arabesque Music, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your guitar to Guitar Pro 7.5 by using the line in functionality. Let's get started. So, why would you want to connect your instrument to Guitar Pro 7.5? Well, it has to do with the fact that Guitar Pro is much more than a software used to memorize new material. It's a lot more than that. Guitar Pro is also a compositional tool and also an incredible backing track player. For instance, here we have Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody score, which is made of a lot of different tracks. Each of these tracks is made of its unique instrument that you can configure in the inspector. Right here we're using a Brian May's signature sound, which is made of different pedals aimed to replicate the exact tone of Brian May on this record. These are all the different effects that have been carefully tweaked in order to get that unique sound that Brian has on this album. Now these presets, remember there are more than 700 presets available, these presets can also be used by your guitar. Now in order to benefit from the sounds of Guitar Pro 7.5, we're going to need an external sound card. You might ask, why can't you just plug your guitar straight into your computer? The connection might work, but you're gonna get a lot of problems if you do that. An external sound card will fix those problems because with an external sound card, you're gonna get a very clean signal and most importantly, you will get very low latency. What is latency? Latency is the delay between what you're playing and what you're hearing. And you want that latency to be as low as possible. So an external sound card is essential for this. And we're ready for a sound test. Great. If you're hearing some background noise like you're hearing right now, it means that the noise gate is too low. And right now it's all the way down. Don't play anything. Listen for the noise and increase the noise gate until that noise disappears. Now, if you have any issues with the sound, if it doesn't sound good, if you're hearing clicks, pops, or any kind of weirdness, that can be fixed in the preferences. We're gonna go into Guitar Pro 7 menu, preferences, audio MIDI, Make sure that your sound card is correctly selected in the device. Right now I'm using the standard interface, which is my sound card that is being used for the whole computer. And if you're having issues with latency, you can fix those by changing the buffer size. Let's recap. In order for you to use your instrument with Guitar Pro 7.5, you will need to use an external sound card. Make sure that sound card is recognized by Guitar Pro by going into the Guitar Pro menu preferences, audio preferences. Third, make sure the line in is enabled. All right, let's give this solo a try. Here we're gonna use a project that has been downloaded from mysongbook.com, which includes tons of different projects compatible with Guitar Pro. I'm gonna make sure to be on the solo track because I wanna benefit from the sounds that have been configured for that particular track. And then I'm gonna mute this track in the global view because I don't want Guitar Pro to play the solo. I'm going to play the solo. Let's give that a try. Here's a quick tip. The line in function also allows you to become a better player. We have a blues project loaded up here. I'm gonna mute the electro guitar track because I'm going to be playing the solo over this chord progression. I can change the sound if I want, but I like this one. This is the effect chain. You can tweak this if you'd like to. And then because I'm working on my instruments, I'm gonna show the scales. This can be done by going into tools, scales. I'm gonna search for pentatonic options. Well, let's try a blues pentatonic over this. We are on the key of A, so I'm gonna select A from our root. And here's my scale. The fretboard is resizable. I'm gonna place it right here. And I'm ready to jam along using the fretboard as a visual guide to find new ideas on my instrument. The line in function is such an incredible feature. It allows you to jam with Guitar Pro projects. 
It also allows you to learn about tone because now you can use the signal chain with all those presets, tweak those sounds in real time as you're playing. It allows you to get better at your instrument. It really opens a lot of new doors. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you have not yet discovered Guitar Pro 7.5, download the free demo. It's available right now on the website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.